Hi, Dr. Hammond. Here's my response for Module 7. The question is, Copland's Symphony No. 3 is one of the most popular American works for orchestra. Please compare and contrast the symphony with any of the American works studied in this module that comes after Copland's monumental work. Um, so, Symphony No. 3 had four movements, Molto Moderato, Allegro Molto, Andantino, Quasi Allegrato, Allegretto, and Molto uh, Deliberato. This has been called the Great American Symphony by many people, such as Leonard Bernstein. Um, he even uh, claims that it's a monument, such as the Washington Monument would be, or the Lincoln Memorial. Um, the Some of the words, or excuse me, some of the music is based on Fanfare for the Common Man, which is one of Copeland's most famous pieces. It's premiered in 1946, so it's post-World War II, which uh, was a very different time for America. Um, we were trying to figure out how we were going to live in this post-war world, um, but things were good. Um, so there was a strong tone of heroism and dignity, um, which is what a lot of Americans were feeling after um, World War II. Um, he fused Copeland's, um, or Copeland fused uh, his Americana style, such as you would hear in Rodeo, with the form of the symphony. Um, and uh, it was commissioned by conductor Sergei Kusevitsky uh, of the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Other pieces that came out um, in the uh, during this time by American composers was Roger Sessions Symphony Number no. Seven. There are three movements: Allegro con uh, fuoco, lento e dolce, Allegro vivace. It was written in 1967, so uh, about 20 years after um, Symphony Number no. Three. Premiered by Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Um, and it was very serious and dark and um, disjunct versus uh, Copeland's happy and optimistic uh, Symphony No. 3. Um, so it's not as tonal um, and conjunct as Copeland's compositions. Uh, Symphony No. 1 by Ellen Toff uh, Zwilich, uh, excuse my pronunciation, also entitled Three Movements for Orchestra. You had movements 1, 2, and 3, titled just as they were numbered. And it was premiered in 1982. It was very, very atonal, um, built around um, the tonal axis of A, um, and there's a heavy use of dissonance. So it was interesting to see the progression as things became more contemporary from uh, what we kind of deem as Copeland's Americana style of music, which is very happy, heroic, and um, just describes America very well through music. Thank you.